Alright guys and welcome back for part 2 of my snow job bash. So as we've seen in part 1 we took a Guyperman reproduction figure and paired him with the Arctic Assault Mission Gear from the G.I. Joe Hall of Fame line to create snow job. Again that's the uh, Guyperman with the red beard so definitely sells the idea that that is snow job so uh, the Arctic assault mission gear set pretty much took care of most everything needed to make a snow job uh, with the exception of the backpack uh, and also a belt so that's what this set is going to complete it also rounds out a little bit more gear than I need to do this snow job so with the Arctic assault mission gear you got the ski option you also got the ice cleats. Now we also have snowshoes. So in essence, Snow Job is going to be able to handle any condition in the Arctic. So it's going to take a quick look at the set here. So you'll notice the set includes snowshoes, the ice axe, a field pack, grenades, rope, web belt, and an army field manual. Should be pretty cool to take a look through. But that's the gear itself, so I'm going to go ahead and crack it open and uh, give you guys a better look at the Mountain Troops Assault Gear. Okay, so here's the set at a package. Uh, we'll start, just take a quick look through the U.S. Army uh, training manual. It's really cool. You get this with the set. You used to get stuff like this also with the Hall of Fame figures, but... You know, just shows you some neat stuff that you could do with your action figure. And this is a reproduction of one of the 60s ones. So, really cool. How to dress the figure. Fold the equipment. Really neat stuff. Equipment list. Cartridge belt. So, very cool addition to the set. Uh, so, we'll take a look at the cartridge belt. So, this will work perfectly. Hopefully, it will fit properly for the uh, snow job bash got the uh, metal clips bagger grenades which uh, probably just put in the backpack because snow job really doesn't uh, attach grenades to his gear nice ice pick with rope attached to it I guess I kind of tuck that along the side or may or may not use that for this the snowshoes are really nicely done a lot of nice detail here Got the elastic strap to hold it on to the boot. And then finally the uh, backpack, an Arctic backpack. Not the easiest item to find. So this should be a really nice addition to uh, finish off the look for snow job. Alright, so let's do that. Alright, so here we have the completed snow job. Uh, really happy with this. This worked out really well. So taking a closer look. There's the uh, harness gear set up with the backpack. And you'll notice just like the vintage figure. He has all of his gear stored onto his backpack. Which was uh, pretty much the main piece missing uh, for this bash. So I got the uh, ski poles and the skis themselves attached to the backpack, just like the vintage figure. So I can even use the snowshoes or the ice cleats. I was thinking of maybe just storing those into the backpack. But for now, you get the idea of the look. So I really like the way this came out. It's got that real vintage retro style vibe. Looks like a traditional uh, Adventure Team G.I. Joe, but turned into a 1983 snow job. So it's really cool looking. You know, it's kind of in the vein of if Hasbro never shrunk G.I. Joe down to the 3 and 3 quarter inch size in the 80s. And they actually relaunched the real American Hero line 
in 12 inch I think this is the kind of figure we would have gotten in the 80s to represent our our favorite uh, Joes from the 1980s I really uh, dig the style I like the look I think it uh, turned out pretty cool it's gonna look great on display really happy with the way this looks so that's it guys that's a look at my bashed 12 inch classic action man style snow job thanks for watching and until next time